Hi guys, uh, this is a Summoner 2183 <coughs> Aquatic Lover 31 on Instagram and um, Andrew Basuka in Facebook uh, I'm going to talk uh, to you guys about something uh, real quick uh, It's about this tank, I want to show you guys something uh, Maybe uh, you learn uh, something as well as I did So stay tuned Hi guys, uh, if you guys remember, uh, this is my uh, Pantala Biotope tank. Uh, just a quick update. Uh, the light for this tank has been fixed, uh, so good for me for that, uh, which I hope that uh, would help grow this uh, tank even faster. The, the plants, I hope the plants take off uh, better with all the lighting that, uh, that uh, this tank has now. But I'm not talk. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I'm uh, talking uh, some about something uh, different uh, other than the updates, which is a, a topic called heterophily. <coughs> heterophily is actually to sum it up. Heterophily is actually the presence of a different type of leaves, uh, different leaves on the same same or different shoot of a plant now the reason why I'm uh, talking about this now is like um, if you can see there's something different uh, on my one of my carbon bar shoots <clears throat> of course you can see the uh, flowering stalk over there but Also, there's a uh, some kind of emergent leaf on top. And let me show you <coughs> the two differences I'm, uh, of in uh, in some pictures so that you guys can get a better idea. So that uh, you guys will know what I'm talking about later. Now there is a reason uh, for uh, the two different kind of leaves here. Uh, actually, this topic came up. Uh, when uh, I was in a biotope, the biotope aquaristics aquarist group, uh, talking about planning, sorry, planning to make uh, another South American biotope specifically for cardinal tetras and uh, Carbomba aquatica. Actually, the plant Carbomba aquatica came up, and you guys must know Carbomba aquatica. In the wild, they occur in the in the interfluvial palm swamps in the headwaters of small streams in the middle Rio Negro, where cardinal tetras are found. Now, the reason why uh, <clears throat> there is such a two different leaves, one. On the surface uh, like you guys saw earlier and uh, the one the difference in leaves uh, like here you can see like all the plants the different plants uh, here is that because uh, the Rio Negro especially the interfluvial palm swamps <coughs> the water levels actually fluctuate uh, during the rainy season and dry season so these plants, like hetero, uh, heterophilic plants, including Cabomba aquatica and uh, Mayaka fluviatilis, which I don't have, uh, they develop these leaves uh, so that 
they can actually survive both dry and uh, submerged conditions because like as you know some submerged plants uh, submerged plants cannot survive in like outside water for too long and as a uh, and as well as like some emergent plants cannot survive in like summer's conditions for too long so these plants especially uh, like Kabomba, Mayaka they develop this strategy so that they can survive and uh, thrive in uh, both conditions and just for your information <coughs> Kabomba is actually mostly submerged but uh, they do uh, develop uh, this kind of uh, strategy as well to help them uh, survive better in the wild well, that's about it guys, uh, I hope, uh, this is just a brief overview on uh, heterophyllia, uh, heterophyllous plants. I hope you guys uh, can uh, learn some, I mean like, learn something about it, just like I did. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. And as always, this is Summoner2183, signing off, bye bye.